Hello, I am Teresa Malik Searle. I am a nurse practitioner with my degree from University of California, San Francisco, and 15 years of experience in pain management in the outpatient setting. As a nurse practitioner, I often see patients who are experiencing mild to moderate pain from a number of ailments. Over-the-counter analgesia is often an appropriate option in such cases. While many of us make recommendations for these products every day, we should remember that there are many patient-based considerations that we need to think about. Even over-the-counter analgesics can carry risks when used inappropriately in combination with other common medications or in certain patient populations. Let's discuss this topic and review ways that we can help safely manage our patient's pain. When addressing the needs of our patients, we should always consider each medication option. The ingredients in some over-the-counter analgesics may be more appropriate than others due to the individual's medical history. We must determine whether there is a potential drug interaction or the possibility of exacerbating coexisting conditions. Take for example the prevalence of cardiovascular disease. Today an estimated 86 million adults have at least one form of cardiovascular disease. And this is not limited to our older patients. In fact, a survey found that among U.S. adults in their 40s and 50s, 40% of men and 35% of women had at least one form of cardiovascular disease. This can impact our choices of over-the-counter analgesics in multiple ways. For example, many of our patients with cardiovascular disease take low-dose aspirin. Aspirin's cardioprotective effects are elicited through antiplatelet action, which results from aspirin's binding to the cyclooxygenase type 1, or COX-1 enzyme in platelets. Did you know that ibuprofen has been shown to compete with aspirin in binding to the COX-1 enzyme? As a result, ibuprofen can interfere with the cardioprotective effect of low-dose aspirin therapy. Not only do some over-the-counter analgesics interact with commonly used medications, but they also may exacerbate patients' coexisting conditions. For example, NSAIDs have been reported to increase the risk of cardiovascular complications such as hypertension, stroke, congestive heart failure, and myocardial infarction. Cardiovascular disease is not the only medical condition of importance. There are many other elements we need to think about, including other medical conditions and drug interactions that may influence our recommendations. Identifying the appropriate over-the-counter analgesic for our patients is only part of the process of helping to ensure that each patient is receiving safe and effective pain relief. Understanding all of the medications our patient is taking is just as important. We must remember that acetaminophen is found in a wide variety of prescription and over-the-counter medications used by 50 million Americans each week. Additionally, the maximum labeled daily dose for over-the-counter acetaminophen products may vary depending on the strength of the product. Remember the maximum recommended dose of acetaminophen is 4,000 milligrams in a 24-hour period from all sources. Differences between the drug facts labels of various acetaminophen-containing products make it even more important to communicate the exact strength and dose that we are recommending for our patients. For instance, you may have heard that the maximum daily doses have changed on over-the-counter labels for some acetaminophen-containing products. These changes were voluntarily made by McNeil Consumer Healthcare, the makers of Tylenol, in consultation with the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. These changes were intended to lessen the possibility of accidental overdose and to help encourage the appropriate use of acetaminophen-containing products. So while adults purchasing extra-strength Tylenol, for example, will find a maximum recommended dose of 3,000 milligrams a day on the label, we as healthcare professionals know that we can recommend up to 4,000 milligrams a day based on our knowledge of the patient's medical and medication history and our clinical judgment. It is important for our patients to understand how we are directing them to take that medication and why we recommend that dosage for them. Drug facts labels of over-the-counter NSAIDs may also show varying doses. These over-the-counter doses may be lower than the prescription doses of some NSAIDs. It is also important to counsel patients when they take over-the-counter NSAIDs to use the lowest effective doses for the shortest periods of time needed. When we recommend a product, we need to ensure that the patient understands the dosing that we are recommending and why. The bottom line with all over-the-counter analgesics is that we must be sure to carefully consider each patient individually, account for concomitant medication use, as well as coexisting medical conditions to make certain that our recommendation is appropriate for that patient.